Hi Ho Silver here with this week's happiness hack. Stop struggling and seek solutions. You know, the universe has a sense of humor because I needed to focus on this this week. And it happens to be this week's topic. And the reason I need to focus on it is because I had a conflict with a really good friend of mine and my um, ego exploded and uh, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> and it proves once again what I've really come to know, which is that never, nearly every personal struggle uh, is related to ego and self-esteem. Yeah. And what happened with me is that my friend was trying to give me some advice. I didn't want to hear it because I'm afraid uh, that I'm stupid. <laughs> and uh, I actually was very sort of dismissive of her advice. And that was my ego. So here are some examples. If you struggle at work, it's often because your ego has been bruised. Boy, I've been through this more than once. Someone implies or even says outright that you don't know what you're doing. And instead of considering whether that might be true, your ego kicks in, trying to argue otherwise. If you struggle in relationships, it's important to figure out why, which is what I'm doing with my friend. Are you continually focused on their faults? That's ego. Are they totally focused on yours? which is what I thought she was doing, which she wasn't, that impacts your self-esteem. And boy, if you struggle with any type of addiction, you know, someone once told me that addicts have massive egos coupled with low self-esteem. As a recovering addict myself, that rings true. In my decades of sobriety, replacing my ego with self-esteem has been job one. That's hard to accomplish if you're still using whatever you are addicted to. Active addiction builds ego and wrecks self-esteem. Now, in each of these scenarios, it's really important to seek solutions, which is what I'm doing by writing this. And uh, I will call my friends certainly later today or tomorrow um, <laughs> once my ego gets out of the way. Uh, it's impossible to feel happy when you are embroiled in struggle, unless you're a masochist, which is a whole different conversation. Remember, you attract more of what you focus on. So when you're focused on struggle, you get more struggle. When you focus on solutions, you get more solutions. The good news is, and yes, there is good news, that when you take responsibility, I'm taking responsibility for this fight with my friend. When you take responsibility, it's possible to find solutions. But if it's always them, you're kind of screwed because... Uh, you can't fix them. Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> it doesn't work. So Albert Einstein said, we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. Absolutely. And so in your search for solutions, make sure you are not tapping into your ego. This is the time to reach out for help. My friend actually can offer me a lot of help and I need to reach out to her. Um, find someone who is good at what you're trying to do and just ask their advice. When you open yourself up to new ideas, which is definitely what I need to do, the answer always comes. But first, you need to stop struggling. And that's this week's happiness hack. Stop struggling and seek solutions. And remember, you deserve to be happy and it is possible. Bye for now.